Right. I see that you're here about an eye injury. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I was looking after my grandson. I'm afraid he's quite a handful. We were on the floor playing with his toy truck, and my grandson accidentally kicked me in the eye. Right. When was this? It was about two hours ago. Yes, I can see that it looks quite red and irritated. How does your eye feel now? It's extremely painful. My eye keeps watering and I've got blurred vision too. Okay. Have you got any sensitivity to light? Yes. I can't stand any bright light at the moment. Being outside in the sunlight hurts my eyes a lot. Have you seen any flashing lights at all? No. What about floaters? I'm not sure I understand what you mean by that. Floaters in the eye can look like black flecks or bits of spiderweb in your vision, particularly if you look at a white wall. Oh, right. No, I haven't ever noticed anything like that. Any discharge from your eye? I haven't got any discharge like pus, but my eye is watering a lot. And it feels like there's something in my eye as well. It's quite irritating. OK, I see. Can you tell me about your past eye history? Have you had any problems with your eyes in the past? Well, I had cataract surgery on both eyes three years ago. That's made a big difference to my vision. OK. Any other eye conditions? No, nothing at all. Do you wear contact lenses? No, I've never liked the thought of putting anything in my eye. I prefer to use glasses, which I only need for reading. OK. From what you've told me about the injury and after examining your eye, I can tell you that you have a corneal abrasion or a scratch to the front part of the eye. That sounds very serious. I won't go blind, will I? No, you won't go blind, and treatment of the condition is quite straightforward if there's no foreign body left in the eye. When I looked at your eye, I couldn't see anything like tiny bits of metal or plastic, so it's just the abrasion or graze on your cornea that's causing the problem. Well, it certainly hurts a lot. Corneal abrasions can be very painful because of the large nerve supply to that area of the eye. I'll prescribe some pain-relieving eye drops to bring down the swelling in your eye and make it more comfortable. You can also use some lubricant drops to help stop your eyelid from sticking to the cornea. What about antibiotic drops? Shouldn't I have some of those in case I get an eye infection? No, there's a low risk of infection following mild eye trauma, so antibiotic drops are not considered necessary as a preventative measure. However, if your eye becomes increasingly red or painful, or you develop blurred vision, you should get emergency eye care immediately. OK. Do I have to wear an eye pad? No. These days it's not recommended that you cover your eye with a pad or eye shield, because it may reduce the amount of oxygen that reaches the cornea. It may even slow the time it takes your eye to heal. And how long will it take for my eye to get better? The cornea usually heals in 24 to 48 hours. While your eye is healing, try to avoid touching or rubbing it. You may still need to continue wearing sunglasses when you go outside, as your eye will be sensitive to light until it heals completely. OK, Doctor. I'll do that.